Factor 2. In our last two videos, we introduced the fair use checklist and discussed Factor 1, the purpose and character of the use. Now we're on to Factor 2, nature of the copyright at work. This is one of the most clear-cut factors. Basically, works that are unpublished, fiction, or creative works like films, novels, poems, images, and songs are more heavily protected by copyright than factual, nonfiction published works. But don't worry, all these factors work together to determine if the way in which you want to use the work falls under fair use. If you want to use a creative piece, perhaps the way in which you intend to use the piece is transformative, which is an element that we saw in factor one. A great example of this is the work of Marcel Duchamp. Perhaps you've seen his version of the Mona Lisa. He took a postcard of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci and drew a mustache on her. He barely changed the image, but the changes he made altered the intent of the work. Another element in factor two is whether the work is consumable. So a non-consumable work is less protected by copyright and more likely to be covered under fair use than a consumable work, which is something like a workbook or a test. So basically, simply changing a couple of questions on a test and using it without obtaining the license or permission of the person who created it would probably be a violation of copyright. Please see our other videos for a discussion of the remaining two factors.